This video is going to show how you can customize the interface in the latest version of GibbsCam. We've really made it easy for you to make GibbsCam look and feel the best way for you to make it the most productive for the way that you personally program parts. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we can do is we can actually undock these toolbars and we can place these anywhere on the screen. Another thing we can do is we can actually redock them on the left, right, or bottom of my workspace. You can see as I drag it out, I get these light blue bars and I can just drag it. Now when I drag this, you can see I'm grabbing it by these little dots in the left corner. Let me go ahead and grab it again. And I'm gonna go ahead and just dock it back up there. If we don't wanna see these at all, we can just go ahead and click it. Let's say for instance, I don't use MTM, I can just close that down. Another way I can turn these on and off is if I right mouse button click at the top and I can just uncheck them and then they'll go away. So that's really good. You can kind of clean up the interface, you know, get rid of a lot of these toolbars. So let's say there's icons that we want to modify in these toolbars. I can right mouse button click and then go to customize toolbars and menus. So now I can do things like drag and drop icons out of the toolbars and I can actually drag them up into existing toolbars. Another really great thing is I can actually make my own toolbar if I'd like to. On this last tab is toolbars, I can come to new toolbar and I can call this custom. And you can see when I do that, I get this toolbar here. If I undock it, you can see that it's labeled custom over here on the right. And now I can easily just come here and just pick commands to load in that toolbar. So I'm just gonna pick some at random. All of these icons are listed in alphabetical order, so it's pretty easy to find. If you want to go right to a selection, you can up, come up here to search and start typing your definition. So let's say I wanna do absolute translate. I can do tran, you can see I get a translate, absolute translate, drag that over to here. And again, I can go ahead and I can move this or I can redock it. Another nice thing we can do is change the size of these icons in the toolbars and even our tools and our process list. Let me show you that really quick. So if we look over here on the left-hand side, there's these little rectangles. I can actually close it down and make them a lot smaller and a little bit easier to see. I can also come over here to my tool list. I can right mouse button click and I get to choose between large icons or small icons. So here if I know exactly what icons I need and that I use a lot, I can put them up here, I can make my operations smaller and my tools smaller, I get more usable workspace in my window of GibbsCam. If I really wanted to get crazy, I can actually come here, I can customize toolbars and menus. And if I right mouse button click, I can actually change between a large icon, so I can make it a small icon, and take away the text. So there's the tiniest icon in the world right there. You'd really have to look, but hey, you know what? Maybe you want it, but you just don't use it a lot. So it's there, it's just really small. So let's change that back so I know what it is. So let's talk about changing stuff back. So let's say I, I went through and I changed all this around and I wanna save this. I wanna save what I have and I wanna share it with my coworkers or have it as a backup. What we usually recommend is creating a file like I'm about to show you right when you start GibbsCam for the first time so you can have it to go refer back to. Not every time you open it, but the first time you open up this new version. So let me show you that really quick. I'm gonna to go to Customize Toolbars and Menus. And if we look down here at the bottom, we have Save Customization Profile or Load Customization Profile. So I can save my customization profile. And I'll again, I'll just call this Custom and then close it out. So now I have this, I'm able to load this whenever I want. And let's go back here and I'll show you what some of the loaded ones are. One of my colleagues, Alex, actually made one. Let's go ahead and load this customization profile called Legacy. So this is the way he likes to use GibbsCam with large icons with no text and things on the right. After I first installed GibbsCam, I saved my own as default. So this is, as soon as I loaded this, I save this. This is what you guys should see when you load up GibbsCam for the first time. Let me go ahead and change the size of these. So all the examples I showed were how to modify the toolbars, but you could also modify 
these pull down menus also in the exact same manner. I can come here, customize toolbars and menus. So let's talk about menus really quick. They work exactly the same as modifying your toolbars. Let's for instance, let's say view. I can actually drag these around, move these views around if I wanted that. If I don't use labels, I can pull that out. Here's my visibility. You can see that we can also collapse these headings and then they'll fly out to the right. So let's go ahead and just expand these back out. But I just wanted to give you a brief overview on some of the customization that you can do inside of the new version of GibbsCam. If you have any questions about the new version or customization or the interface in general, please reach out to your local reseller or give Kibbs Camp technical support a call. Thank you.